Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why the Community Cup is gone, the Magic the Gathering Community Cup. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's a bunch of um, podcasters, YouTubers, uh, the Mana Source was a Community Cup member, uh, bloggers, um, Twitch streamers, a bunch of uh, community members in Magic the Gathering. Uh, they Wizard of Coast flies them out, um, they have a good time, they compete against Wizards of the Coast employees. Uh, currently it is gone, uh, Trick Jarrett, um, as of today, which this is recorded a week prior, uh, he made the announcement that they just didn't have enough time, they just kind of forgot about it. Which is kind of most, that is a BS example, because uh, he released it on a Friday. So if you know anything about marketing, you always release bad news or news that you expect to be taken negatively on a Friday. So his news was, hey, we're not going to do it for this year. We just got too busy and we forgot. That sounds really non-reasonable to me, but that's just from my perspective. Of course, you can leave a comment below and let's have a good discussion about it. Why I truly believe the Magic the Gathering Community Cup is gone is because they've already selected the members and they've already flew out the members to different events. Um, Tolarian got to go to PAX East and he was the perfect person to fly out for that event. He got to interview Mero, um, published on his website, and that was all very good. Uh, Magic the Amateuring, um, I think her name is Maria, she's now doing, uh, she did the Caldez pre-release things and uh, Jimmy Wong, who is a really good, I think he's a great YouTube actor, uh, and he from Rocket Jump, I, I remember him from being on Rocket Jump, so he's, I forget what his channel was, Commander Cast, and he was the other host, and they did this really nice event. So instead of having a community cup event or just people flying out in and having a uh, event against Magic the Gathering employees, they just fly these people out on individual events. I think that's the best use of money. Um, if you were going to fly out, you know, a, a Magic the Gathering celebrity, you would want to make sure that you flew the correct one out to the correct event instead of just putting them all together. Now, is it a negative or a positive that they are no longer having the event? This is up for discussion. Um, I've never really followed the event myself. Um, there's a lot of casual formats for the event. And I believe it's on Twitch. I don't know if it's on YouTube. Maybe they upload it on YouTube later, like they do for most Magic the Gathering tournaments. However, it was really cool to see the Mana Source go to the event because that was the first time a YouTuber was recognized. Uh, normally, it's people who do podcasts, it's people who write articles, and non Magic players, uh, streamers, and that is a really cool way to promote um, people who promote the content. I think that is extremely valuable. But now they have a new direction. I think the direction is correct. Uh, it is, you know, if we're going to PAX East, let's invite uh, Tolarian Academy, um, Tolarian Community College, and he'll come and he'll you know, make a video, it'll be really great. Um, if we're going to do a Caldas uh, pre-release type of deal, we'll we will invite uh, Loading Ready and Run and Graham and the crew and they'll do a pre-release and that'll be real great. Um, and it is uh, working well for them. I think it's part of Hasbro's reorganization. Um, Hasbro obviously tried to reorganize the pros and that had some backlash and then they had to take it back. Uh, this time, you know, without the community Magic Gathering Community Cup, if there's no backlash, they'll just probably go and get rid of it. It's one of those things that if it happens every year, they don't happen the next year. If it doesn't happen this year, you can pretty much assume it's gone. So what do you guys think about the Community Magic the Gathering Cup? Do you follow it? Do you think it's a good, do you think it's good for the art community? Is it too casual for you? Is it just right? And uh, overall, do you guys miss it? Did, did you guys even know about it? So anyway, leave me a comment below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.